Was good, guys. Was good. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, bro. Awesome. All good, Ed. We can hear you. Great, man. Doing great, man. Good, good, good. Let's see here. Uh, all right, let's get let's get ready for today's session. Uh, even though, like, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the market. This is the entry from yesterday. Uh, the market is very bullish. We can either expect a pullback, and maybe you know going back to this previous level, and maybe re-entering somewhere around here. Or if we can spot some type of buy in this area, we can buy to continue the the you know the the push because I'm still holding these buys on Nasdaq and S and P 500. Still holding. But you see, like what we can, what can we expect at this point? Uh, by the time the New York Stock Exchange is going to open, is it going to drop now, or is it going to continue pushing? So it's a it's a very complex area, to be honest, to look for buys. You know, because the momentum, uh, I mean, we are very high already, but the market is very like, pushing up strongly. So if anything, we can maybe wait for a pullback and enter. But let's see, I'm jumping in here on uh, uh, NASDAQ, another chart that I have here. Let's see here. So I'm on a five minute, try to scalp this thing to see what's gonna what's going to do. Right now, it's... You see that we are on this five minute little trend line. It's a very small trend line. The price is breaking the structures to the upside. Short rejection here, here, here. It was a little consolidation that it broke uh, right here that it finally broke with a big momentum to the upside this previous zone. And right now it's creating that little box. So I, I, I would say maybe let's wait to see if the market is going to start breaking to the upside or what i'm going to go in a one minute that's all we can do at this point as i mentioned because we are already holding buys uh, we're going to try to scalp it at this point either to the downside maybe a little pullback correction if the market will drop and break this little trend line right here and maybe get to this level or is it gonna i don't know maybe gonna start breaking to the upside you know and we can go maybe to this next level or just going one to two risk to reward or uh or maybe using the indicator wma line to uh you know to stay on the trend as long as the 12 and the 30 are still separated you know we can do a lot of things at this point but it's scalping and it would have to be scalping because you know that we're already holding bias on and uh, on nasdaq let's see if that level one two three you know this this is a very strong level let's see if it's gonna show some rejection right here which i think it will unless uh, uh unless you know the stocks will continue pushing very strong but right now i think we're gonna have some type of correction and we could be aiming maybe this target right here at least in a quick scalp uh on on nasdaq let's see one second uh ed sorry ed yeah yeah, man. Tell me. Um, I'm currently on a sell on Nasdaq due to that, that resistance level that you showed. Okay. But I, I've got to, like, it's just down till the, till, um, till the level you say that the, the rejection could fall to. That's basically where my take profit is. That's where your TB is? Like somewhere yeah. around this area? Oh, hold on. Yeah, somewhere around that area. Okay. Yeah, one second. I got lost here. Yeah, and maybe it could, it could get potentially back to this low. So let's see here, five minutes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very likely the market could get, uh, what am I doing here? Hold on, I messed it up. Okay, there we go. So it's, it's very likely the market could drop and, and reach at least this, somewhere around this area this this high this previous high right here um something that something that i'm very like I, I like to do is the trend like i would rather wait uh wait for me wait if i'm on an uptrend i would rather wait 
uh, to see until I see maybe the breakout in there. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, before I actually jump in on a sell, because I know I'm still on this little uptrend. The market could still be in a little consolidation, a little box consolidation right there. And let's see, the market will open in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, let's see if the momentum. Let's see if the momentum is going to definitely be to the downside, like very strong to the downside and even breaking the trend line or just getting touching here and then just continuation to the upside. It's also very likely to happen. Um, let's see, 15 minutes. There's a big momentum candle right here. So you can maybe take that as a, as a potential demand zone. And 15 minutes, 30 minutes, NASDAQ. I'm not sure if I have more alerts. Okay, I'm gonna put that alert there. US 30. US 30. Yeah, look at US 30. Also a little trend. trend right there. This is gonna be our last high. Right here. Minute, 50 minutes. Whoa. Yeah, US study is very bullish right now. Yeah, we could expect some type of, of after this little push, maybe a pullback retesting the 35,000. Retesting the 35,000 and then maybe pushing up. Maybe. Um, but yeah, that pullback I think is going to happen. But I don't want to rush into that. I want to wait for that breakup. I want to wait for the breakup of this low right here. Entering a little early could be a risky. Or it depends. Sometimes, let's say you took the risk. Let's say you did getting on, on, on this little pin bar, but it looks like a pin bar. It's definitely an early decision. And you're going to aim to the 35,000 level. That right there, it's a risky trade because you're still on, on the uptrend and you're aiming, you are pretty much trying to, to predict the breakout and entering before the breakout happens. So it's definitely a risky trade. You, you, you might say that right here, you're, we are going against the trend. Um, 20, let's use the 20. Unless, let's try to see, uh -huh. NASDAQ started dropping, it's breaking that thing. Maybe something there. I want I want to see a pullback on this breakout. I want to see maybe the price getting to this zone, maybe pulling back, creating a a lower high because right now it's been creating high highs. It created that wedge. Now price is going below the twentieth. So I want to see maybe a pullback and then maybe a continuation, maybe something like that. <coughs> Before jumping in, let's see if we can catch something here. And then stop above. TP exactly one to two. Mm. Let's see if that pullback is going to happen. Whenever we scalping is very uh, this is right here. It moves very fast and, and, and more, you know, if the New York stock exchange is going to open, ooh, it gets crazy. Let's see one hour. Yeah, one hour is starting she's starting to reverse. Mark? 
Yeah. Whatever you want, baby. It's up to you, my love. Yeah, so we have to have it. Yeah. Okay, let's wait about 15 minutes, 13 minutes for the market to open. US 30, uh huh, US 30 is starting to pull back. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm not seeing the comments here. Oof, okay, uh, Tesla currently earnings report coming out today. Yes, the, the Tesla. Earnings reports, yes, they are coming up today. I heard that is uh, after market hours. It's not going to happen like right away, but after market. Um, percent growth. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. There, there's an apparent growth. They're reporting earnings, definitely reporting earnings, and it looks like it is going to be some a, a small percentage on, on growth. Uh, so that might affect the the market after hours so after the new york you know closes after the market closes and most likely will have some some type of reaction by the time the news come up so we have to see we'll have to wait yeah a lot of people could be buying at, at this point the the apple stocks ooh, they could be buying let's see where they are right now It's it's kind of similar. Let's see this trend. This trend right here. It did break it. It's kind of similar to Nasdaq right now. If you think if you see the actual downtrend, the breakout. And let's see if it's gonna react to this previous level. It's a very strong level. So let's see if it's just a nice pullback right there. On the Fibonacci. Golden zone rejection breaking the trend line. Now let's see if it's gonna break that thing to the upside. But you see that stocks are pretty much the same. If you're using price action, price action is is the same everywhere, you know. Yeah, some rejection here. So yeah, just waiting what's gonna happen here. This very important zone. I think it's gonna continue pushing, to be honest. I think it's gonna continue pushing. Well, let's see, five minutes, about 11 minutes for a market to open. <clears throat> let's see if we can catch maybe a sell. Yeah, that pullback is happening. That's how we're saying, expecting that pullback. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, so you got push. I wanna see lower high, and I wanna see then that, that breakout. That breakout happens. I will be jumping in. This is about 62 pips. It's just a small sale. It's definitely not big. Uh, next Thursday is Apple's earnings uh, report is a week four. Uh, yeah, that's right. So next Thursday is Apple's earnings report. So a week from now, what to expect? Very volatile risk week. Yeah, no, we just have to wait. We just, um, yeah, this could be. Um, this could be the beginning of the uptrend, uh, you know, of that crash. Remember NASDAQ as well, you can see, nice pullback, big pullback, getting into retesting basically the 14,000 level. And now let's see, this is gonna be the, the beginning or the continuation, maybe next week might be reaching the 15,000. Or is it just gonna stop right here? Because this is a very strong resistance as well. In the past, has been touched multiple times. So the market is rejecting that area. Look at on a four hour, rejecting right there. On a one hour, it's showing a pin bar now. So <clears throat> maybe we could have a little correction today. We could have a little pullback. And then after market hours, that thing could just come crashing, uh, come, you know, skyrocketing. It uh, depends. Depends. So definitely waiting right now for NASDAQ and US 30. To see what they're going to show. Uh, 
S&P 500. We are below. Okay, okay. I'm seeing something. Starting to see just a little. Just a little thing. I like that breaker. We are below. We are below the 20th. But I, I want to see a much bigger. I want to see a much bigger um, candle right here below, like a much bigger bear single thing in order to get in. Because the candles are too small. It's not, not good. You want to go with the bigger one. But that this could be a nice entry, like, you know, break out of a structure, pullback, retesting. And let's see if it's going to react to the 20th and uh, moving average. Hey, this one is going up strong. Eight minutes. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I don't want to go too big on a sell because I'm already on a buy. And, uh, only a scalping. If it breaks this little trend line on a five minute, I will just go one to two in this little scalp because I'm already holding buys. So I don't want to go, I don't want to go big uh, you know, on a sell. And I'm most likely going to be just going to small lot size as well. Yeah, NASDAQ could definitely be dropping. You actually got in there and you're aiming maybe one to this area. But uh, I don't know. Since it's a one minute, you see the candles are still not too big that you can say, oh, it's a big bearish single thing candle after the breakout retest is not still. Maybe this is just a fake out to the downside and the price will just come back on top. Break continuation to the upside and maybe pushing up. <clears throat> okay, market keeps pulling back. Six minutes. Let's, let's say you want to get in into a sale, maybe a sale stop around there, and maybe one, two, two. Uh, maybe let's go ahead and maybe put the sale stop there, stop there, and TP one, two, two below this low to go safer, a few pips below. Let's see, that sell could work as well. If it start rejecting, but right now it's all about, like, the market is not gonna do anything at all right now, unless, I mean, until the market opens. It's gonna be like that. It's just gonna, not gonna do anything until the market opens. Then it's where it's going to bump all the money. If it shows more rejections here, I'm sorry. It might actually just continue pushing up very strong. Four hours, let's see daily. This is a nice push. Well, even though we had all those rejections right there, I thought the market could actually go lower, get lower, but nice bullish engulfing right there. US 30. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, this, 
four minutes left. I don't think that's so. That so is going to happen. Or if it will happen, it will happen very fast. It can get a little crazy. Here. Yeah, I don't think this this cell is actually going to happen. Starting to push up now. Let's see if just a fake out to the upside. Because the market now could, could just start pushing up. <clears throat> Three minutes. Stuck, still struggling right there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna jump in on Nasdaq. I might, but if it starts breaking, looking good from this perspective at least but we are still on that little uptrend. So I do not risk it. It's pushing, it's already eight, two minutes according to the, the watch. This might continue up. Let's see this actually if I can catch a buy right there. A little buy. Below this low, 49 pips. And going for one to two. If it breaks, I might go for a buy. But I want to see, like, things can get really fast right now. Let's see, one, yeah, 41 seconds, I believe. So I want to wait. I want to wait for the first five minute candle. But let's see if it's going to be too fast. Let's see, starting to push up already. Let's see how that candle is going to close. Starting to push up. US 30, NASDAQ not doing anything, but US 30 starting to push up. Let's see if it's going to be just a fake up. So 15 seconds. Yeah, this might actually push. Go. So I did get in. I did get in. A small, a small buy, small buy, small scalping buy. Skyrocketing. Small buy. <coughs> because I'm already holding. Uh, Nasdaq is going against. It's actually pulling back. S and P 500. Not doing much at the moment, but NASDAQ, I'm not sure if I'm going to jump in on this one. US 30 uh, did get in very small. Uh, let's see if it's going to be just the momentum. I'm going to let it run. If I get stopped out on this one, that's fine. I'm going to let it run. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. So a lot of rejection there now. Uh, NASDAQ went down, you see indecision. That's why that's those five minutes. Sometimes the market will just get crazy the first five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes can get crazy. It's not gonna be showing any actual direction yet. So if it rejects very strong, this kind of closes bullish engulfing in this five minutes, because this is a five, little five-minute trend, it might just continue pushing up. Wait for that candle to close. This one is just 
It's just the one to two register reward. This is just 97 pips right there and just a small entry. But I want you to know and to understand, you see why I, I made the decision to go with the buy. <clears throat> Even though the candle did not close, took that little risk because of the momentum a few minutes, a few minutes, no, no, not even a few minutes, a few seconds before the New York stock exchange opened, the market started showing signs. So they were injecting money already into the market. So taking advantage of that little push right there. Now, at this point, where is this going to go? <clears throat> this can go very, very far away. Let's see where's the next level. Yeah, this thing can actually get to this level today. <clears throat> very easy. I'm sure it's going to reach it. But this was just a quick buy and it was very, very fast. I would have not had, I think I would have not had the time to send a screenshot right quick to the actual signal group because it goes so fast that you can miss the entry. So that one, it, it was just a very small. So that's fine. Not, not, uh, looking at not a big deal in there i'm paying attention to this one now at this point because it's the one that i'm holding i didn't have entries on us 30 until now basically until the little scalp that i did but this one <coughs> is the one that i'm i'm holding on buys so i want to see what's going to happen there if it's actually going to break to the downside or what so two minutes about one minute and 40 seconds for that kind of too close to see how it's going to close uh, S&P 500 is actually pushing up. What the heck? Indecision. Big, big indecision candle. So nothing happening there. US 30. US 30. Just right there. And when this is scalping, guys, you gotta have your like you you gotta have your phone. Oh, this shit is gonna is gonna drop now. Fifty six seconds. I'm gonna try to catch a sale in the next fifty one seconds. I will try to get a small small lot size because I'm holding buys as I mentioned. I don't want to go against. It's it's kind of ah, but uh, let's try let's try to catch maybe a small sale. 34 seconds. Maybe it's already, it, it's already gone or it's too fast. Yeah, if it's already gone, it's gone. Let me grab my phone here, hold on. No, that shit is too far. I mean, it's too far away. I don't, I'm not going to risk it. <clears throat> I'm not going to jump in. It's too far. The candle it went away too far. I'm just giving you an example. It went too far away. Maybe uh, let's, let's wait for the next five-minute candle if it's going to retrace. But it went already too far. I don't like getting in too far. Maybe it will be just retesting also this area. No, no, I, I won't get in. Let's say, let's suppose we got in there. Let's suppose we got in there. You went with them, that momentum. You didn't wait for the, the actual candle to close. You entered a lot. Let's say you entered there. So you're aiming, I don't know, maybe to this level. Let's say what, let's see what would have happened. <clears throat> no, but yeah, that to me, it would have been maybe the candle too big and the stop loss would have been way bigger. So I would normally do that. I would normally wait for the candle to close. If it closes, like if the momentum is too strong and if it closes very far away, I might just let it go because, you know, it's, it's, it's either I take the risk an early decision before the candle closes or I wait for the candle to close. But if it's too far away already, I'm not going to jump in because my stop loss is going to be too big depending on how much I'm risking. But, uh, Eh, no, I, I, I'll let it go. I'll definitely let it go.
Hey, Ed. Uh, Claudia. Sorry. Oh, how you doing, doing late, man? Good, good. Still uh, healing from my bruises yesterday, but we in again. <laughs> uh, peeve, hate, or love, uh, US 30. <laughs> yeah. One man. of the two. Yeah, man. Um, it's rather conspicuous at this point in time, so I'm not sure, man. Look, it's going to go for... It was either going to grab Thursday's high, which it did. It literally swallowed Thursday's high, went into a pole flag, and up she went. Um, thought it was going to go to last week's high, and I see now it's going to go to the all-time high. Um, possibility, but it's this one straight grab. Now, I'm trying to figure out if this might just be a setup for a head and shoulder, possibly. Uh, let's see. This one right here? US study uh, on a one hour, what I'm looking at now. One hour. Head and shoulder. Oh, you mean this yeah. is a, a left shoulder? Yeah, yeah, possibly a head, yeah. Maybe, maybe, or it will create maybe a double top on a four That's hour. what I'm thinking of as well, yeah, because I was looking at the liquidity grab now. Um, I've got mine just on the last... Um, on the last uh, uh, buy before the drop started. Okay. So I just need a confirmation on that setup. But yeah, um, heavy lesson learned, man. I'm going to hang 10 for now. Until, <laughs> let's just see what she does. Yeah. Yeah, totally, man. Like this was, it is a huge push. It is definitely a huge massive, push. massive, massive, massive. Uh, so I don't know um, if this is just one massive liquidity grab. I, I mean, this is huge. This is literally uh, absolutely because now the, the next high would would be uh, the one just above that. That's going to be at like yeah. 35, 8, uh, some change, you know. So uh, either this uh, and then it's going to go for a massive drop towards your 34 range, you know, um, right. because um, and then either then spike all the way up or this is actually the spike up. I'm not sure, but there's so much imbalance. This is what I don't understand. They're creating so much imbalance uh, from the last push. I mean, that was never filled. Uh, now you're going to get a second push. Uh, it's yeah. not filled as well. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. What I'm what thinking, I'm what I'm thinking yeah. at this point, Clyde, is that, uh, well, look at it from this perspective right here. The market sure. has been pretty much bearish, right? You got a big push, you got a pullback, you got a big push. Even you can say maybe, yeah, you can say this is a push. And, and then now you're having a, a potential pullback. So this is still a lower high. So lower high, this is the highest point. So lower high, lower high. Let's see how this daily candle is going to close. If it clo if the body of the candle closes high, that's a new high. That's going to be the first higher high created right there. And this is the first higher low. You see the market could potentially be then doing this. It's reversing, starting to... To reverse, I like that uh, that big pullback right here, creating the first higher low. This is the lowest point. Also here, Correct. even here, you can see uh, you got the you got the push. Let's say here, pullback, push, pullback, and now you you have the first higher low right here. And now this huge push is breaking these highs, these last little highs right there. Correct. Yes. Yes. Quite right. So it could be a good sign. And this is another higher low. Uh, and now. Let's see how this this particular candle, the, the body of that candle, how is going to close. If the body closes above here, right there. If it, you if know, the you know, you know what, Ellen. Sorry to break your word, man. I, I do. I do beg your uh, pardon, man. You, you, you know, uh, the, the the converse is that um, is is that it could be setting up for a massive downward trend because the imbalance um you, you actually have it two ways yes um yeah. from your first push all the way up uh, that wasn't filled you know um from your 33,000 all the way to your 34 250 34 300 that that was never filled you know it just it just filled i think just your first break line at your your i think the, at your 34 100s that's all was full so you still got massive imbalance so you've got two portions of yeah. huge imbalance that hasn't been filled the only thing i'm thinking of is that it's gonna hit yes your day might create an an equal high and then hit a u-turn and recover that to your 
to your actual 33,000 range and then boom, all the way up. That's, I'm just assuming. Because right yeah. now, yeah, you know, they make a U-turn, come back down again, then poof, all the way up. Maybe. It's very likely. Yeah, if you, if you look at uh, US-30 also in the past, you see it tends to consolidate a lot, a lot. It does have those huge spikes up and then it goes down and then big pullbacks. It does move. So, yeah, it's very likely to, to struggle right there. I'm sure it's going to struggle. Maybe liquidity, big liquidity grab right there and then it's going to. Oh, that's, that's huge. I mean, that's like <laughs> that's, that's a jump and a half. But yeah, yeah so, so no, but thanks for yesterday, man. Thanks for yesterday. Uh, yes, see, uh, yeah, made, made a mistake yesterday. But yeah, um, I think this is sticking back to the rules is very, very important. You know, confluence is so important. Also being patient. I think I've got to deal with FOMO. That's my most important thing now, so deal with FOMO. Yeah, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's part, of, it's part of that. Part of the but, game. Yeah. Part of the Hard game. lesson. Yeah, <laughs> but you will you ah you will get there, man. You will get there. Appreciate it, Ed. Appreciate Definitely. it. Oh, good. So it is what it was a little. Uh, today it was just a little buy right there, and uh, you see it's just starting to reject that the body where the body of the candle kind of closed. So this is where the market could start reversing now. Let's see. Let's see that big reversal. If it's going to be a reversal right there. And Nasdaq, oh, Nasdaq on, is man. dropping. Ooh, look at Nas. Nasdaq. Nasdaq. You know, I find I find that Nasdaq um, respects technicals um, and fundamentals. Uh, it really respects. You know, there's 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 no. Um, you know, if it makes a double top, you know, if it uh, like you've got your 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 three or four candles on top, that you know it's going to reverse. Right. Whereas US thirty, it's an it's a complete animal on its own. It's a beast, you know. Yeah. Um, I think a bit more attention has to be paid to US thirty. That's why I said I've got a love hate relationship. I think when when I made my first big, uh, I've actually notified you. <laughs> I'll never forget yeah. that day. But uh, I, I I just can't repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> so so this is what's frustrating me right now that's really frustrating so i suppose it's uh, part of the journey of just uh finding uh, you know the yeah the oh, go small to try to go try to go small like try to go small and then to you build your confidence back up again and then you boom yeah true yeah true that's right this entry i didn't get in and i, I was explaining mm, the guys mm, here mm. i didn't get in why i was waiting and i was actually watching i was actually watching this candle and i was telling my students i was live right here right now and i was the candle the body of the candle was right here and i was waiting for the five minute candle to close and i was telling them let's see let's see i had my hand on my phone right here i was just waiting for this candle to close but i was also waiting for the candle not to close this far away sometimes I just, I, I would just maybe feel uh, not scared. It's just not comfortable when entering. Let's say I would have entered here at the end. So you, my stop loss tends to be a lot bigger and my TP and then it's going to be, it has to be further away if I want to aim one to two. Okay. But, and I didn't, this. I just decided, no, I'm not just, I'm not going to get in. I'm going to pretend I'm jumping in on that one because as I mentioned, I don't, uh, I tried to follow my rules, even though the market went the direction we wanted and hit the, the actual TP. I, I just said, I'm not going to get in because the body of the candle closed way too far away. Like, if, for example, for example, let's say, let's say this body, uh -huh, you're waiting, you want to see, you want to catch a, a, a breakup, right? <clears throat> and you see the body of the candle going down, going down, going down, going down. Going down, and you're waiting for that five minute candle body of the candle to close. You don't want to jump in aggressively like that while this candle is still open, right? So let's say it goes down, it goes down, it goes down, and it closes right here. Would you still be comfortable to get in there and a stop here? Look at the size nah. of that. Stop. No, it's nah, it's nah. huge. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make sense. So sometimes you're gonna have to let it go. Sometimes maybe that entry wasn't for you. That's it. Not big. So that's what I just did at this point, live with my team, so they can see that whenever I make a decision, at the end of the day, it's my decision. It's the, it depends on what I'm going to see. So if I, 
It's not that I'm getting scared. It's that I'm not feeling comfortable with a big ass candle like that. I might consider that this is too far away. Even though we are in a five minute, maybe it's not too many pips. Not, not, not yeah, you know, it's not too big of a deal right here because not, not uh, the, the, the pips are not too much right there. But still, I consider that this candle is, is it's a little big for me to get in. If I would have jumped in aggressively before the candle closed, that's a different scenario. But you see, I'm risking that I could, maybe if I enter on this candle, right? Let's say the candle is going down again. This candle is, is dropping, right? Dropping, dropping, dropping. And you, you don't wait for the candle to close. You, you make your entry right there. Boom, you made your entry. And then as soon as you make the entry, the candle could start retracing back, retracing back, retracing back, and now it closes bullish. And this is a big as weak rejection to the bottom. So Correct. it's gonna end up faking you out. So you, you understand the importance of getting in aggressively while the candle, the body of the candle is still open and the time is open or just entering by the time the candle closes. But it's a very big difference when, as I mentioned, when the candle is too big and it's very far away, I'm not gonna be getting in here. And my stop here is way too far away. Then where would you TP? Remember you're aiming, you're trying to aiming at least one to two. Your TP is very far away. And, and I don't think the market will get that low if you're trying to, to scalp it. The idea for this, is to wait for the candle, at least the first breakout candle to close, but not too far away. If it closes too far away, it's better to let it go. Let it go. Don't don't just jump in on that trade. I did, however, I did tell uh, my students, let's say I enter aggressively there and I place a stop here and I was aiming one to two. It's just just for the example, but it wouldn't reach it really, really nice. But that's fine. I just let it go and it's fine. I went on just on US 30 and look at that, just immediately coming back down. That could be just a big, big rejection <laughs> right there. Now it's gonna- oh, I was just, I was looking at actually trying to get in now, but I said, what, it might uh, try and retest that level again. Hmm. Let's see, that's a good question. 13, it might, yeah, it, look at- It just might. Yeah, if it closes, like I would say if this 30 minutes, let's see, 10 minutes, 10 minutes left. If this 30 minute candle closes bearish engulfing, with that biggest rejection yeah, at the bottom, yeah, yeah. that's a good, that's a good, uh, I mean, sign for you to get in into a sell. It is definitely a good sign. Let's say it closes here, but look at, because of the size of the week, look where your stop loss would be. You can put and your and stop loss here, but. Uh, hmm, but uh, and that's, and that's what I don't like about weeks. It, it, mm -hmm. it means that there's still yeah. room for that retest that, that volume yeah. you know um it's saying that i've reached there before let's try and go back there again so i'm going to be cautious and see if there is a retest on this yeah and wait but Ed, um remember what you did last year and and, and sorry i don't mean to, to digress the rest of the team no, no. is that you went long and and you've done a beautiful exercise i think it was a 2000 pip move oh yeah it was animalistic man animalistic <laughs> yes see and i think i was busy with something you know us with day jobs have having a bit difficult, man. But um, is it possible to do another stint like that? I mean, I really enjoyed the move. It was just beautiful. That entire experience was beautiful, you know. Uh, and consider something. Consider doing something like that again, Ed. Oh you know, yeah. Um, no, I am waiting for yeah. that. Oh yeah. Man. And, and that's and that's what I want to do now is try and build up the capital again. Obviously, what yeah. I lost yesterday, you know, try and build that up again because that's what I've been trying to build towards. Is, is, is waiting for that last long push and just go long. Yes, totally, man. Like, look at, I mean, the big difference from last year is that we didn't have a war and we didn't have, <laughs> yeah, the, true. True. <laughs> we didn't have the high interest rates and everything. You know, everything was, was really, really nice. So every time, this is with the swing strategy, where every time the market would reach the 600, I would be looking for bias. And this push right here, these pushes are beautiful. They were beautiful. No, I'll year. never forget that. Eh? I will never oh, forget God. that. I think you bagged 2,000 pips straight out. Jesus. I mean. Jesus. Gorgeous. It was gorgeous. But look how low we are. This this has been the craziest year. Even, even coronavirus wasn't that crazy. I mean, it just went down. But then it started correcting immediately. But this is hectic. Look at this. Just 
and how long we've been below the 600 on the swing trading strategy. Let's say right here for how long, let's say, let's measure from here to here. It was what, 47 days? Yeah. 47 days. I hear it's longer. Here is like three months, four months already. But what I'm thinking of is that I've been looking at the longevity of these moves. Yeah, look at that, 102. Yeah, you're right. It's around yeah. three months. Jesus mm. Christ. So, so, so if if you if you go back to the to the 47 days and look at how that thing took off, uh, there was just like no looking back. Yeah. I think this is going to do the same once it takes off. Uh, <laughs> it's oh, going to yeah. run like a bat out of hell, boy. I promise you, it's going to run like a bat out of hell. So I see there has been negotiations between uh, Ukraine and Russia, uh, but further sanctions onto Russia that they're looking at the world economy effect. If they do isolate Russia completely out of the oil, oil prices locally would go up by 65%. I don't think that's going to become, that. that's going to be worldwide. Yeah. So I don't think that's going to be a very wise idea for them to actually do that towards Russia. But yeah, and once again, we're not politicians. So oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see what's going to happen, and uh, hopefully everything's going to get get better. Uh, I hope, and I want to see this is like on a daily. Nasdaq. This would be like the uh, the first higher low. The market was it's been creating pretty much lower lows all the time and lower highs. And then now you see the big push breaking this, uh, um, yeah. this high, and this high. So now expecting, now just expecting for the market to, uh, after this. So expecting the market since it already created the first high, big high, it broke this high and this high. So expecting this to be the first higher low that it does it that i don't like i want to see that stay there i want to see the price stay in there and big signs of a continuation but look at the rejection we're having right now on uh on nasdaq as well so maybe i'm going to get stopped out on break even on that little buy that i had there but that's fine right here what i what i don't want to see uh, hopefully not is the market getting back again to the thirteen thousand, or maybe if it reaches the thirteen thousand, maybe to do a big big double bottom and then we can catch another one. But right now I'm scared of swing trading because, uh, because if you hold a trade for longer than two, three days, right now in this area, in this, this very moment, is I, I would say it's more risk to that because there's no guarantees that the market will actually go there because of things that are currently happening. But last year it was it was just beautiful. You could do it with your eyes closed. It was very, very, very nice. So let's see. Oh, look at this big, big drop now on on uh, Nasdaq and S and P five hundred. S and P five hundred. Let's see. It did end it up actually falling as well. It would have been activated. Remember, I was trying to do a, like a sell stop. It would have been activated as well. The actual sell stop right there. But okay, jeez. Let's see. Yeah, but so far, so far, this is it. Can you relax yourself, please? Pretty much this, and uh, this is it, guys. Um, we're just gonna wait now. After this massive drop, I'm not sure, guys, if you were able to, or if you didn't want it, if you did want it to jump in on the Nasdaq entry, I'm not sure if you did get in. And uh, US 30, I'm not sure if you actually got into the buy as well. Uh, just a quick scalp, just 97 pips right there. And um, S&P 500 also dropping big projections right here uh, to the upside. This was a big, big rejection right here. Little box as well. And big breakdown, breakout to the downside. So at the moment, guys, that is it for the live session. I will come back later if I spot something else. But at the markets, pretty much today, we'll be pulling back, watching Apple, Tesla, 
Uh, some of the stocks are pulling back. Apple is pulling back very, very strong right now also. Big, big pullback. Let's see what's going to happen today uh, with the um, earning reports on Tesla. Let's see, maybe is uh, this is going to be just a little correction before it starts going up. It's weird that it's actually uh, going down right now, Tesla. Maybe it's just a little pullback. Let's see if that pullback is going to get to this level and then bounce back up again later on. But that is it, guys, for today with this live session. Um, if you, you know, if you have doubts still, if you have questions, any concern or anything, just let me know. Let me know um, on the group or hit me out on the, you know, on my personal um, Telegram, and I will definitely, you know, help you out. All right. You're very welcome, guys. You're very welcome. And uh, so, uh, Beauty, uh, do you, you want to say something? Do you have a question? No, 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 I don't. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right. good. I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. Perfect. So, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Remember, uh, we're going to have these live sessions uh, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. Every single week, we're going to have this these live sessions, okay? So I'll see you. I'll see you back live on Friday, guys. Oh, look at that rejection. That's a pin bar right there going on. Mm. It is very tempting, very, very tempting to get into a cell there, but I think I'm gonna let it pass. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, yeah, it's looking it's very, very tempting. The size of that. Hmm. Let's see, it could be a trap. It could be a little trap. It could be a little trap. Maybe the price will stop there and then uh, later on we'll start pushing up or maybe consolidating or it will maybe reach the, the 35,000. Maybe we'll pull back all the back, um, retesting this area and then maybe showing signs of continuation to the upside. But uh, whoosh. yeah, no, I'm going to let it pass. <laughs> if I see something Sorry. else, yeah. Hi Ed, how are you doing? How you doing, man? It's Robbie Robert. here. Good. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, I did, jumped in a bit late. It's work commitments. I I just I'm I'm sorry I missed the um. Did you do? Did you did you have a view on Nasdaq? I just wanted to know. Um, yeah. What's your view on Nasdaq? The oh the sell oh it, yes we were actually uh, catching this one. I didn't get in, but we were here yeah. live while the market was breaking to the downside. I just told the okay. team that. Um, be careful with this type of things. Like whenever the market breaks a trend line like that, I like getting in sometimes. Sometimes I like getting in aggressively. Like before aggressively, I mean before the body of the candle closes, I will jump in mm -hmm. right away. But it's risky. There's more risk to that. Mm. because I was saying that when that happens, like if the candle, let's say the candle is going down, it's going down, going down, going down, and you enter. You don't wait for the candle to close. So you enter right away. Mm. This could just immediately start retracing, retracing all the way back up and now turning into green and now, you know, close bullish. So yeah, that's a risk whenever you make an early entry. So I was like, I'm going to wait for the five minute candle to close. Let's see how that candle is going to close. But it closed to me personally, it closed a little too far away. Close here. You're so right. It means my stop loss is going to get bigger and my TP mm. is going to get further away. Maybe, uh, you know, whatever. Today, it would have reached it anyways. The one to two, this, this drop is huge. So it would have reached it anyways. But what I was aiming for is I was aiming at least this area. I didn't want it to go big on the sale because I'm already holding buys. So because I'm already mm. holding buys, I just wanted to catch this little pullback or correction and this little five-minute uptrend. And so I just pretended, I told my students, I'm going to pretend I make the entry aggressively before the candle closes, the body of the candle closes. And I put the stop loss above that last high, NTP one to two, or to this area, basically. So the market did so, end so, up just falling. So you're currently still holding buys on this trade? I'm, I'm still holding buys, but I'm, I, I'm sure I'm about to get stopped out. Okay. Let's see, on, on break even. Because I did get in, I did secure partial profits. I recovered the loss from Monday. 
So yeah, right now the price is coming back to the to to this area basically to the previous golden zone. And mm -hmm. so right now I don't think this is the golden zone anymore. And well, it's not it's no longer valid uh, for for this drop. So let's see if this is gonna just you know it, it did reject it this area, it did reject mm -hmm. this this huge resistance right there. Big big right. resistance. So. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get stuffed out at this point, but that's fine. As I mentioned, I just already secured profits. I closed almost uh, about 80% of my entries right there and uh, just waiting uh, to see if the market is going to just stop me out. And S&P 500 maybe will also stop me out on break even. It's a little further away. Yeah, it's very, very far away actually from stopping me out. But uh, let's see if if we're going to stop right here, I know this, this is a very strong level. At least I'm, I'm a little bit more, as I mentioned, look, it looks further away. NASDAQ is about yeah. to do that, but uh, uh, S&P 500 is actually further away. I don't think I'm going to get stopped out at all. Well, at least not now, but yeah, man. But that's basically, that's basically it. The catching the sale. Yes. We were predicting that sale on a five minute, time frame after the market has started breaking to the downside. After that little consolidation right there, uh, one of the students, and I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot your name. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if you're still here, but he was saying that he was already on a sale somewhere around in this, after this, you know, in, in this consolidation. He said it at the beginning of the, uh, of the class, but I'm not sure if you're still here. Uh, sorry, sorry, Ed, I'm still here. Oh, you're still here, man. So how, how yeah, do you my my name is Krish. Krish. Oh, how you doing, man? So, how did I'm you okay. go? Yeah. Take profit. Just got it. But 1,200 pups. Oof. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This, yeah, this so drop I, is already huge. So good. I basically just secured half of my, half of my um, profit and I'm leaving the restaurant. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I mean, if you already did that and your stop is already on break even, just, just let it go. Let it run. Because how, how low will this go? I mean, this is a massive, massive, big, big candle right here. Bearish candle. Uh, let's see if the market will try to get maybe, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a little demand zone here. By the way, on a one hour on NASDAQ. So maybe the market will try to reach the 14,000 psychological level again before bouncing up. Maybe we'll reach back again to this level getting into the demand zone before it starts pushing up again. Hopefully let's see what's going to happen, but that was a nice sale you caught there, Chris. Congratulations. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, guys, that's, that's basically it. If you have questions, just let me know. Uh, Krigan, let's see, do you still use your other confluences, divergence on the RSI, Chimoku? I personally, if you ask me right now, I, I don't, you see right here, I wasn't using any, any indicator. Why I was not using any indicator? Because I, I already understand my price action and the breakout of the structure. I know that if the, at this point, the market is breaking my trend line, most likely is, let me jump into the TP strategy. Most likely the market is, or, or the indicators are telling me and giving me the signals. So just right here, right? Where was the breakout? The breakout was right here. Okay, we were below. The candle did close below the 50% the on the RSI. Let's, check, let's take a look at the Ichimoku. Right here on a five minute, it wasn't that, uh, like it was not the best formation right here. Like um, the actual time frame, it was not the best for that. Most likely I had to uh, scaling into a one minute. So one minute is the one that it's working for this, for this drop, for this setup. So the market, you see, even from, from the top right here, the market was already going below the cloud. So broke the trend line with this candle, broke the trend line below uh, the Ichimoku. We're gonna put it here, this line right there. So break out of the trend line below the Ichimoku, um, WMA lines, we are below the WMA lines. Look at that nice, nice drop. I would have uh, actually hold it all the way down. You see, sometimes I just rather follow my price action and I don't pay attention sometimes to my indicators um, because I already understand this thing and I'm just, I just want to 
just aim to a, a, an actual target and that's it. And uh, if it continues falling, and maybe the indicator will tell me to continue holding and taking advantage or taking more money into my pockets, you know, that's fine. If you want to do that, if you still want to stay on the charts for as long as possible, and you can take the more pips you can. Look at that. I mean, this this downturn is still strong and no signs of reversing yet. Look at that 12 and the 30 is still very separated. So this most likely is going to continue dropping. So, uh, but that's it. You see that three indicators telling me to sell plus price action telling me to sell as well. Everything was beautiful uh, on that sell and in, in this perspective because I was following this thing on the five minute, I did. I just, I didn't want it to jump in. I just was following this thing on a five minute. Um, but it would have been, if you would have actually catch this sale, maybe here with the, on the one minute time frame, this one, this breaker would have been the one for you if you were looking for that. But I was paying attention to the five minute. Maybe I missed it, you know, that one minute time frame, but it's fine. It's fine. At least we were still following the price. The still, even the market is still broke below. And I was, I wanted to see a much, uh, how can I say, a much stronger breakout on the five minute time frame than on the one minute time frame. Sometimes the one minute time frame, if it breaks on the one minute time frame, maybe on the five, it will retrace back up. So it's, it's kind of, the strongest right now between the one minute and five minute, I would go with the five minute because it is, it's much stronger. On a one minute, it's, it's a one minute time frame. And it's very, it's very likely to come back up. So to be just a little fatal. So, you know, you can test it out, you can practice and you will see that between the one and five, five, I would say is the best. You can still follow one minute, but making an entry on a one minute time frame it's it's there's more risk i would rather jump in on at least five minutes jumping in on five minutes um but if you're following let's say you're following your rule on just a one minute time frame and you're just like scalping and you're looking for flags and you like following that as well follow no problem if it's part of your plan go ahead follow it and uh, right now today as i mentioned my plan was to enter on a five minute so, but it was definitely a nice, nice sell right there. And it did work out. Uh, US 30, uh, what I, you know, I actually decided to get the buy because of just simple price action breakout of the structure. I did enter aggressively on this one. Uh, why? Because I'm still, uh, I'm, I'm, I still am on uptrend and I rather go buying. I, I, I just prefer going buying right now because I know how the stocks were, how the uh, indices were pretty much yesterday. So I, you know, I had kind of feeling that the market could push up. And still, I just entered with a very small lot size. I didn't want it to risk uh, too much. And, but the, it played out at least very, very well. One to two risk to reward basically. One, almost one to two, by the way, is a one to 94. But, uh, but that's it. That's it, guys. You sure you don't have any other doubts, any other question? Let's see what you see. What's going to happen right here? It could be just a, you know, just a momentum, you know, pushing up and coming back down. Then it's going to push up now later on. So that's why it's kind of jumping in on, on this, on the actual sale on, on US 30. I was not feeling, uh, it was not having the feeling of that right there, even though there's a massive week right there. But you see, it might just be just a little. Just a little fake out or just the momentum, not a fake out, just the volatility of the momentum. But, but yeah, that's it. Are you sure guys, you don't have any doubts, any questions, concerns, complaints? Uh, one second, Shavir was asking something. Uh, NASDAQ, 42, 200 horizontal bar. How is that the right, uh, please? Oh, Shavir, Shavir, I'm sorry for my pronunciation. Uh, what do you mean, 40, uh, 14 to 20 on NASDAQ? Let's see. Hold on. Uh, 
the 14 to 20. Oh, you mean the, the entry on the entry point? I'm not sure if Shavir is still here. The entry point, how, okay. How was the entry point done there, you mean? Um, if you, if you would have won, as I mentioned, because of the size of the candle was, uh, was too big for me, it was already gone. Uh, you know, that to me is, it's a little far away to enter. Just wanted to do that for the example, because if you're entering on a breakout, right? And my rule is to wait for the breakout, right? I need to wait for a candle to break below. But if the candle is too big and it might be already gone for me, and because the stop loss is going to be huge. It's going to be, you know, the, look at the, the size of the stop loss right now. Because we were scalping, of course, on, on a five minute, it may not be too big. But let's say you're, uh, you're finding a setup or a trend line on a one hour or on a 30 minute or four hours, whatever. The trend line is huge. And your stop loss right here can double or triple this, this size right now. So I decided not to jump in because of the candle. Where the candle closed, I considered that it was too far away from the entry. If I would have entered aggressively on the sale, maybe somewhere around here while well, the candle was still open and going down. Maybe I would have done it here. You see the stop loss reduces and the TP is actually more. So, but that's a decision that you guys are going to have to make at a certain point. You're going to have to make that decision. What would you do? Are you aggressive? Do you think this is actually a breakout happening while, while the candle is, you know, piercing below the trend line? Do you think it's actually a breakout or not? Uh, would you be a little bit more patient and wait for the candle to close? What if this body of the candle closes, uh, like, let's say here, All right, let's see, what if the candle closes the body uh, or the candle closes here? Would you still enter? Would you, would you, would you put your enter, your entry right there? Where would you put your stop loss? Here, here, here. Where would you put your stop loss? You see how big your stop loss is getting if you decide to wait for the entire candle to close and that candle, the momentum of the candle closes like very, very far away, you know? So it's better sometimes to let it go. That's what I, what I actually did, you know? I just, I just let it go. I just pretended with you guys that I was making uh, the entry uh, aggressively somewhere around that area if I decided to make it aggressively. But sometimes, as I mentioned, if it's too far away, if it closes too far away, let it go. Yes, that's good. Exactly. You're, 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 you want to be thinking always. You have to always think about your stop loss before you even put your TP. You have to you have, try to watch always that, guys. Like, Think about where your stop loss is going to be and how big your stop loss is going to be, how much your risk is going to be before you think on your reward. Okay. And I, and you see right there, I just did it live. I just, I was just waiting for that candle to close. I was hoping for this candle to retrace a little back up and maybe close like that, close right here, uh, but it didn't retrace. So it did close lower. So that to me, it's already too far. Okay. So I just let it go. Right. I want you guys to start, you know, thinking about that and in the future, start implementing the same thing. Be careful with uh, uh, when the candle is just already too far away. Don't just think because it closed like that. Jesus, this, your stop loss is going to be huge. You could be facing a big drawdown. Where is your stop loss going to be? You know, so, yeah, don't go that way. Just stick to your plan. Have your own rules. Build your own rules. And, and consider, you know, making an entry based on the candle, how, how you know, how far away the, that candle will close or if it get closer or farther away, you know, you could get stopped out. Maybe it's just a fake out to the downside, you know, all that stuff. And, but, uh, but that's basically it. That's basically what, uh, what happened today. 50% uh, of that breakout candle body for entry. Uh, 
what do you mean uh, right uh, right here well yeah but but yes but exactly but you you would have to how can i say because you have to see that behavior let me let me give you this example <clears throat> yeah if it pulls back 50 percent, but let me give you this example let's say that candle was breaking <clears throat> candle was breaking 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 <clears throat> you have a big body of the candle but then all of a sudden it starts retracing 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 and it closes like that and i'm gonna put this candle here so it closes well from this point let's say it closes like this right there but this had a big week because the market did go very to the down so let's say it reached all the way down here so look at the size of the weak rejection and the body of the candle you might think this is a breakout but look at the size of the rejection this is already telling you something so there's something to think about there will i make my entry here just because of the body close below uh, what it looks like a trend line and i'm going to put my stop loss here so okay my stop loss is very short but look at the size of the weak rejection that size the size of the week right there can tell you pretty much that this oh the market doesn't want to go down right here it is there's a lot of uh, still like some type of buying pressure is still trying to push maybe this this support right here is very strong and a lot of buyers are trying to get in control right here so this is scary to me if i see a week of this size that to me is scary it's a sign for me to not jump in i will most likely maybe wait for another candle so you see is that just because it's breaking below see the see the actual candle see the week of the candle if you have a week like that very big like the size of the week is twice or double or is bigger than the actual body of the candle be careful where you are that could mean the price is rejecting right there so the next candle could just be coming back up the next body of the candle could just be bullish and maybe just continue to the upside so something to think about right there and be careful with that guys be careful with that so uh, when making an entry paying attention to to the candles okay all right so that's oh my god what's going on with the battery here my battery is about to die i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the recording here right now and 